Welcome back to Optimal Play, where we're continuing our uh, world debut previews and first impressions. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm hyping it up as much as I can. Of some player cards from the Edge of the Earth expansion of Arkham Horror, the card game. I'm Brandon. I'm Steven. And uh, yeah, if you joined us yesterday, you saw our takes and, uh, and reveal of Daniela Reyes, the mechanic, uh, one of the new investigators in the box. Today's a little less exciting. It's a player card. Yeah, but you know what? Who doesn't love a player card? There are some player cards that have been game changers. You know, drawing thin. Um, <laughs> are we going to sit, sit here naming <laughs> player cards? <laughs> I'm sure this card will be equally impactful. Well, probably will be tabooed. You know, a couple weeks after this video. You know, it could be. It could be. It, it is. It it seems strong. Um, do you want to? Before we read it, I want to thank again uh, Fantasy Flight Games for providing us with some preview cards. We're having an excellent time uh, seeing them for the, fir for the first time. And uh, follow us throughout this weekend when we're doing a preview every morning. And then at twitch.tv slash optimal play Monday, we'll be playing a game with uh, decks built around each of these cards we previewed through the weekend. So should be fun. Uh, with that, all you have to do is scroll down a little bit on that iPad and read us the new card. Oh, this is cool art. Uh, Fend Off. It's a 2 cost, 3 XP event with 2 agility icons. That's a gambit and a trick, so Rita can double play it. Um, fast, when a non-elite -enemy, enemy spawns at your location. That enemy attacks you. Uh, oh, so a Daniela card. Mm -hmm. uh, then, automatically evade that enemy and attach Fend Off to it. Attach enemy cannot ready. Yeah. So it's kind of a Daniela card. I don't know, you know, I'm the one who saw these and have been thinking about them all day. What's your first thoughts? Um, I mean, it kind of makes it... So you just never have to deal with the enemy, right? Like, it's pretty good. It's like, it's almost an instant kill if you don't really mind the attack. Yeah, I think for the most part, it's super strong. Um, it's really... Like, just an automatic discard of an enemy is basically what this is. Um, the My one hesitation is that I think that probably the card that is most similar to this one is Disc of its Omna, which is not a strong card, <laughs> right? Because that's another one that, okay, an enemy has to spawn on top of you, yeah. and then you can just discard the enemy. This doesn't discard it, but it permanently permanently locks it down unless there's some way that, that this card leaves the table. I think the reason why this is better though is because it's a fast event, so you don't have to like spend the resources until it does something for you. Right, you don't have to prepay for it, you don't have to dedicate the, your relic slot to it, right? Yeah. Is what Disc of Insomnia takes up, so that's a big upside with the trade-off of the enemy attacks you. Yeah, yeah. But it's like, there's, you know, Daniela doesn't mind that, Calvin doesn't mind that, you know, a lot of survivors that have, um, you know, Jessica and or Pete, like mm -hmm. Yorick probably doesn't mind that. So I think that, uh, yeah, obviously there's going to be some characters that, that do care about that, but I think there's enough that don't that it's probably fine. Yeah, so I, I think it's it's probably, probably real good. And I uh, completely agree with your call-out. The art's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Someone got mauled by this creature, but managed to jam it into a closet. Works it. Yeah. <laughs> it feels very survivor-like. And there are, every once in a while, there is an enemy that, like, blows up or something when you attack it. So it's, like, especially good on those, where it's like, I never have to actually kill this thing. Yeah, it's good on those. I mean, it's good on aloof enemies, interestingly. Maybe they're less likely mm, to, like, spawn on you, but it saves a lot of actions when it's something that you would have had to engage just to deal with, whether you were trying to evade it for some reason mm. or or um, kill it. This... Although, uh, Whippoorwills, um, it, even if they don't ready, are still annoying. Yeah, that's true. So if it's something that has, like, a persistent effect on the location that mm. it's sitting on, Fend Off gets a lot worse. But Daniela <laughs> could do a damage to the Whippoorwill and kill it with just her ability and this. It's true. This would be a uh, playing a level three two cost event just to <laughs> I guess her, pick off a whippoorwill. I guess her wrench can just kill whippoorwills too. Uh, yes, just provoke the attack from yeah. the whippoorwill. So, do a damage. Okay, back. I revised yesterday's video. It's awesome. It, it's, it's lines are good at killing whippoorwills. You're <laughs> a okay in my book. <laughs> Turns out Danielle is a top tier investigator, yes. again. and she can easily deal with whippoorwills. I like it. Um. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think who else would play this. Like, I actually, I saw that the enemy attacks you and thought Daniela first, and then kind of thought, like, well, but Daniela doesn't need to 
build her deck around automatically evading and dealing with yeah. enemies. Like, she's really good at that already. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would definitely, like, I've been playing Calvin with you, and, like, we both had times when he didn't draw his weapon, and it was super annoying. And, like, this seems like a perfect fit for that. Like, he doesn't mind being attacked, and it's like, if you haven't drawn a weapon yet, this is as good as, you know, an instant kill. Yeah, absolutely right. And um, someone like Stella, maybe, who doesn't have uh, the best stats and is is failing a lot, kind of fa failing forward. This is a way to not have to take tests, just <laughs> deal with an enemy without a test. Um, Though she likes tests because she gets to fail them. Fair point, yeah. So, But she hmm. does have extra health in some ways, so. <laughs> And uh, this does uh, more elegantly than cards that say uh, remove them from the game. It gets around infinite recursion from Survivor. You're not. <laughs> this has to stay on the table, so you're not scavenging it a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Um, all right. With that, I think we'll call it a preview video. Yeah. Uh, once again, um, subscribe to see tomorrow's preview when it's up, and join us on Twitch on Monday. We'd love to have you at both. Uh, till then, be optimal. I was trying to quickly think of a joke about them fending off your attempts to get them to subscribe, but <laughs> I didn't think of it in time. <laughs>